Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair, and welcome to the One Earth Day Challenge, where our mission is to inspire, to promote, and to celebrate excellence. The purpose of this web seminar is threefold. The first, to explain the importance of finishing the year strong. The second, to provide you with a blueprint, that is, specific actions and implementation strategies that you can deploy in order to secure a strong finish to the year. And number three, to introduce you to the most extreme performance acceleration program in the world, the 100-Day Challenge. So let's get started by focusing in on the critical question. Why is it important to finish the year strong? Well, depending on when you're watching this presentation, there are approximately 100 days remaining in this year. That means 265 days are now gone, and the only ones that matter right now are these final 100 days. Each one is important, and each one most definitely counts. And the key thing you must do right now is to focus in on your current year-to-date results. And if you're currently below target or unhappy with your individual, team, or corporate year-to-date performance, then you must consider the remaining 100 days of this year as a now-or-never opportunity to redeem yourself by finishing the year strong. Finishing the year strong is the exact same mentality of a distance runner sprinting to the finish line, a salesperson grinding out the last quarter to exceed their annual quota, and a baseball team closing the season with conviction in order to make the playoffs. These final 100 days is when you've got to give it everything you've got, and the following will provide you with the motivational fuel and justification to ramp it up while your competition is most likely winding it down. The first reason for finishing the year strong is that it provides you with a fixed deadline. See, the best part about a fixed 100-day non-negotiable deadline is the clarity and the conviction that it brings to your daily actions. Knowing that the clock is ticking is one of the best motivators for finishing strong. The second reason for finishing strong is that it provides you with a chance for redemption. If at this point in the year you're below target and your back is against the wall, these final 100 days provide you with a last chance for redemption, so you must look at this as comeback time. In fact, if you are below target, I also suggest that you get mad. The fact is, pain, failure, loss, and embarrassment are such great motivators, and you should allow adversity to force your hand, to make new choices, and to take new actions. I want you to use the pain as fuel that drives your comeback, because if you do not, it will become the fuel that perpetuates your current situation. And the third reason is that it sets an inspiring example. So your performance can be seen as a sad consequence of neglect, poor character, lack of direction and ambition, or it can be seen as an inspiring example of talent put to use in the intense pursuit of clearly defined year-end goals. And the fourth reason for finishing the year strong is it allows you to build momentum for the new year. See, building and sustaining momentum is one of the smartest things that you can do during these last 100 days, as it provides you with a powerful platform for a fast start to the new year. And number five, it allows you to intensify focus. See, knowing that both options and time are diminishing assets, your ability to focus on high payoff activities becomes an obvious priority for securing a strong finish to the year. That leads us to number six. It allows you to close your execution gaps. The goals that companies and individuals set for themselves at the beginning of the year often bear little resemblance to the results they actually achieve, and finishing strong closes those execution gaps. And number seven, it's a character-defining moment. Ultimately, your ability to finish the year strong is all about character. It's about turning a flashlight to your soul to inspect yourself for will, courage, conviction, and pride to see truly what you are made of. And number eight, I think perhaps even the most important, it throws down a challenge. So there's nothing quite like a good old-fashioned challenge to test your limits, to exceed your quotas and expectations, to keep your teeth sharp, and to see how far you can go by finishing the year strong. Now, let's change gears and focus on another key question. What specific steps or strategies can you deploy in order to secure a strong year-end finish? Now, I'll cut right to the chase on that one as the things that you need to be doing in these final 100 days of the year are the exact same things that you should have been doing all year long. Now that's worth repeating. The things that you need to be doing in these final 100 days of the year are the exact same things that you should have been doing all year long. So the following are 10 simple, 
highly effective and empowering strategies to step up the quality, the quantity, and the intensity of your efforts. And by implementing this 10-point blueprint, you will accelerate your performance, you'll drive massive results, and most importantly, you'll achieve the key objective of finishing the year strong. So the first strategy is to get serious. With a finite period of time breathing down your neck, you have no choice but to get serious, to set crystal clear goals, to raise the bar, step up your game, and to embrace a take no prisoners attitude. So you will make rapid advances towards your goals only after you decide to get serious about getting results. And we must remember that serious professionals play to win and always finish strong. The second strategy, you need to start saying no. No, without a doubt, is the most powerful word in your vocabulary, as it's the easiest word for setting a limit, holding firm to boundaries, and being clear about what you will or will not do during these last 100 days. And you'll be a lot more productive once you recognize these three things. The first, no is not a dirty word, it's not a negative word, nor is it a selfish word. Learning to say no is liberating as it frees up your time to focus in on your key priorities. The second, you're in complete control of how you spend your time and your life. And saying no allows you to have more time and energy to pursue your goals and wildest ambitions. And the third part, saying no increases the value of the things that you can actually say yes to. And the fact is, your success demands a short yes list and a long no list. Yet most people have that one reverse engineered. Saying no is the most strategic decision that you can make as it improves and accelerates your effectiveness, guaranteeing a strong year-end finish. And strategy number three is to act boldly. In a 100-day sprint, there's no time for indecision, doubt, excuses, blaming, or procrastination. You simply cannot allow any of these self-destructive behavioral traits to perpetuate. Now is the time for boldness as every act of boldness accelerates the pace with which drives your results. And boldness means taking risk and executing your year-end plans aggressively. So your finest hour will not come from a weak, wimpy, nor half-hearted effort. Therefore, you must go big, go bold, or go home. Strategy number four is to set challenging deadlines. You work best under a self-determined or an externally fixed deadline for achieving your goals. And the reason for this is simple. Any task project or goal takes about as much time as you allow for it to take. And by setting non-negotiable challenging deadlines which drive you to deliver the goods, you virtually guarantee big, consistent wins right through the close of the year. And strategy number five, you must create a sense of urgency. To achieve your goals and to finish the year strong, you need a flame under your behind which ignites a performance explosion. You must take massive action every day and develop a sense of urgency and importance about what you're doing. And I'm talking about urgency to the extent that getting results and achieving your goals is a matter of life or death. And number six, you must speed things up. See, the old rules no longer apply. It's not the big that eats the small anymore. It's the fast who eat the slow. And the key to rapid, ongoing, and transformational results is to recognize the competitive power of speed in every single thing that you do and to turn the pursuit of speed into your primary weapon for finishing the year strong. And number seven, you must refuse to die. Those with the character to do what it takes to finish the year strong tend not to allow the indignity of a poor year-to-date performance to keep them down. A comeback accepts disaster, laughs in its face, and crawls to his feet again. And when you're down or below target, I promise you this, other people will write you off. But do not let them define you. Maintain your dignity and refuse to die. Strategy number eight, be relentless. By choosing to be relentless, you're demonstrating no abatement of severity, intensity, strength, or pace. Nor are you softening or yielding a determination. Finishing the year strong necessitates that you fight on with undying, relentless determination. And the rewards for those who are unyielding in their pursuit of a strong finish far exceed the pain that must precede the victory. That leads us to strategy number nine, to be unreasonable. The goal of finishing the year strong can only be achieved by unreasonable people driven by unreasonable expectations. Therefore, you must become unreasonable in what you expect from yourself 
and in the demands that you make upon others. The only way to create big, bold, breakthrough year-end results is to take the road less traveled, to set goals and plans that are unreasonable, and going for it. And last, strategy number 10. You must make everything count. As you work towards the goal of finishing the year strong, you must understand that there will never be a day in your life that will not require dedication, discipline, perseverance, accountability, and the opportunity to execute relentlessly. You must sweat the small stuff as each day counts, and everything, regardless of size or intent, has bottom line consequences, which moves you towards or away from your goals. And regardless of your year-to-date results, you and I both know that no matter how good or bad your results have been, that you can always do better. And I mean much better. And I'd like to show you how by introducing you to the 100-Day Challenge. The 100-Day Challenge is a powerful catalyst for transforming your potential into extraordinary results faster than you ever thought possible. It's a transformational program appropriate for the boardroom, the classroom, the locker room, and the living room. And over these final 100 days of the year, many people and organizations from all over the world will use this extreme performance acceleration program to redeem themselves, to set and achieve some big challenging goals, and most importantly, they will finish the year strong. And in order for you to accelerate your performance and finish strong, you need a specific set of goals, a well-designed plan of action, and a raging fire under your behind that compels you to act with urgency and resolve. And that is what the 100-Day Challenge is all about. So you may be asking yourself, what makes this program so effective? Well, the secret behind the 100-Day Challenge is an accelerated coaching and multi-level accountability system, which fast-tracks your results by keeping you focused on and committed to your priority goals. The overall concept is built around two motivational tenets. The first is a fixed period of time which is deadline-driven. In this case, 100 days. The second part, is a strong desire to accomplish worthwhile goals within that deadline. Now, as I mentioned before, any task or goal takes about as much time as you allow for it to take. And by setting non-negotiable deadlines and by not allowing much time in order to get the results that you expect, then it won't take much time in order for you to start seeing some amazing results. The 100-day challenge is designed to keep you on your toes as you'll be constantly challenged to perform and expected to compete tasks and activities on deadline. And the discipline of deadline enforcement ensures rapid and ongoing goal achievement, and that is why you'll be putting this powerful strategic weapon to good use. And this is a great place for us to wrap up this webinar, as there's only a few days left for you to sign up for this life-changing program and to do the work necessary in order to secure a strong finish to the year. So come, join us as your great adventure is about to begin.